we need to be careful with sensationalism in this community. And uh, if people make claims that are bold and new, um, you know, we have to be careful about that. So, for example, I could stand up here and I could say that um, there have been many bird people reports, you know. And, for example, this individual here up on the screen, I could say I've done many, many missions with this bird person in space, secretly. Um, but, you know, if somebody's from my generation, they may know this bird person is actually Falco, and he's from a Nintendo, Super Nintendo game, uh, which I played and I actually did many missions with him and completed the game. But it's important that we don't let this story. Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team, still reporting to you from the beach. However, tomorrow is our last day. I've got the infrared camera running and well, let's get to it. The uh, clip that you just saw was just a little snippet of a lecture on secret space that was given by a man, a film director, a producer who's created a lot of great documentary films on UFOs that goes by the name of Darcy Weir. And you can see his IMDB page here where he produced and or directed such films as Being Taken, Beyond the Spectrum, The Underground, and more. And so he's done many lectures and like the clip you just saw, he was discussing the fact that there's just a lot of BS out there these days regarding quote unquote secret space. And, uh, you know, that, that subject and the BS involved kind of steals the show from the truth about UFOs. And so today, I not only want to talk about Darcy Weir, but I also want to talk about someone that you may know, you may not. But this guy was an idol of mine, and he had a channel called Luna Cognita. And you may have seen some of his footage in my past videos. Uh, most recently, in my video where I was showing how NASA was hiding or airbrushing out things on the moon, well, I featured some of his footage as you are seeing here. Now, Luna Cognita, he, in my view, was the pioneer of analyzing Apollo moon footage, film footage, imagery, you name it, and bringing out what was really there above the moon and down on the moon. And about five or ten years ago, he suddenly vanished. His channel was terminated, his videos were gone, and nobody heard from him since. And I, I, I've always wondered where the guy was, and it just so happened that I met up with Mr. Darcy Weir, who is good friends and has worked on documentaries before with Luna Cognita. And so coming when I get back from the beach, I am going to be doing an interview with Mr. Weir as well as Luna Cognita, where we will go deep into the UFO phenomena, why he vanished, what happened, and his amazing work and video analysis done on the moon. Uh, just a little clip from his now terminated channel I will show you here. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Today I wanted to give you a closer look at a very brief segment of 16mm DAC motion picture footage from the NASA archives that was originally shot back in July of 1969 during the flight of Apollo 11. And the footage was taken through one of the windows of the command service module during what was called the Translunar Coast or TLC phase of the mission. And this was the three-day period when the astronauts were crossing the almost 400,000 kilometer cislunar void that separates our Earth from the Moon. And at some point during this outbound journey through cislunar space, one of the Apollo 11 astronauts did some unscheduled shooting with the 16mm DAC motion picture camera, and in the process managed to film several unidentified objects outside their spacecraft. And to show you what I mean, let's first just have a look at the raw segment of footage exactly as it's archived and shown by NASA in their Apollo archives. And I'll warn you though that this raw segment of footage is very brief and the scene it shows is very unstable. So don't blink or you might miss it. Here's the clip. Begin object movement that occurs between each frame that was not caught on film. So any attempt to try to build individual flight path profiles for these unidentified objects so that we could better plot their individual movement tracks as they float across a field of view would be speculative at best. 
the available evidence in these 11 frames simply lacks the required movement data to ensure the accuracy of the flight path track, so I'm not even going to attempt to do that here. Uh, when I first looked at the largest and most defined of these unidentified objects, the one that is initially visible for the first few frames at the top of the field of view, I was reminded of another somewhat similar looking unidentified object that was also filmed while in cislunar space just a few months prior, back during the Apollo 10 mission in May of 1969. And in that case, the unidentified object, which was visible above the lunar limb, uh, was filmed from the CSM using the 70 millimeter Hasselblad still Okay, so yeah, that's just a small clip where Luna Cognita discovered what appeared to be some sort of flying saucer type UFO that was captured passing by outside of one of the Apollo mission spacecraft. And he then discovered that another UFO that was captured in a photograph above the moon looked very similar to what was captured in the film footage. And so this is what he was great at. So I want you guys to know that Luna Cognita is still alive and he's going to be on the channel. And so because we are going to be doing this interview with these two great men, I want to talk about two things. First is a documentary that they worked on that is actually already out and it's called Secret Space UFOs. And it's a documentary that is about the true history of space anomalies and NASA secrets regarding everything in the early NASA and Apollo missions with whom he worked with Luna Cognita on. And so here is the trailer for the now out Secret Space UFOs documentary. We choose to go to the moon. for debunkers. First, don't bother me with the facts. My mind's made up. Sane is being a robot, taking your brain out and just going to work and doing it and never thinking outside the box. That's how they classify sanity. So there were indeed sanitizing methods or pre-planned scripting that was going on during the Apollo program to help control exactly what the public saw and heard. And this kind of censorship during those lunar missions happened a lot more than most people are aware. We're just scratching the surface of that subject here. The Westfall incident is an absolutely fascinating flying saucer incident. It's probably the largest mass witness daylight sighting of a flying saucer, certainly in Australia and probably in the world. Okay, so yeah, and you're seeing some B-roll footage here of that documentary as we talk about it, but I spoke with uh, Mr. Weir on the phone, very nice man from Canada, and he let me in on what happened with Luna Cognita, why his channel went down, what has happened to him, and that will all be discussed in the upcoming interview. Now, I also want to let you guys know that, um, well, rather, I want to give you a sneak peek of a second documentary that is coming out, it's going to come out, which is titled Secret Space UFOs Rise of the TR-3B, and that I may actually be working on with him. Uh, nothing is locked in, but we were discussing it. He said, hey, Tyler, if you want to come on board, we'd like to have you. So we'll talk about it. But either way, the documentary is going to get made. And, you know, we all know about the TR-3B. I've posted a lot of UFO videos and sightings lately of these mysterious dark triangular craft that have been captured above Earth 
out in space, out the window of, of uh, the space shuttle or the ISS, or above the moon, Mars, what have you, uh, sighted in infrared, floating above people's houses, and so that is what this new documentary is going to be on. And so yeah, uh, just another clip for you guys, but I'm really, I can't tell you how excited I am for this interview because so many people in the field these days are just in it for the money. You know, I heard about the new Netflix docu-series about UFOs, secrets, and files released or, or uncovered, and I'm not watching it. It's a UFO cash grab with all of the big talking heads that are out right now, and you know who I'm talking about. And it's all rehashed stuff that you can find on the channel for free. So I only like to really talk about people I believe in. I'm not going to be promoting films anymore like I used to that I don't truly believe in. But I believe in Luna Cognita and I believe in Darcy Weir's work here. And he's got this new film coming out. So I will put links down below. Be sure to stay tuned. And also, really quick, you guys are going to love this. Um, you guys have been buying merch like crazy, supporting the channel. It's one of the few ways I can actually get by because YouTube these days is just, hey, I guess aliens aren't advertiser friendly or not as much as they were. However, I want you guys to know that we now have two different secure team hats available on the website. Both of them, one of which is a snapback and the other is a trucker hat. Now, the trucker hat is out of stock already, but the snapback is available and it is puff embroidered, meaning that the letters in the word secure team, as you're seeing here, are actually puffed out on the hat, giving it this awesome three-dimensional look. And so people have been asking about hats and I've got a ton more cool posters and shirts coming and be sure to use promo code ocean alien for 10% off. It's only going on for a few more days. So if you want to snag a hat, maybe a shirt or a tank top and you want 10% off on everything, use promo code ocean alien at checkout and uh, I'll hook you guys up. So again, guys, thank you for stopping by today. Thanks to Mr. Weir for being such a kind gentleman, getting into contact with me, letting me know about Luna Cognita and that he's still alive and uh, that we're setting up this interview and that there's going to be a lot more to come. So one more day at the beach, guys. I've got the infrared camera running. I've got hours of footage already. I'm going to review it when I get back from the beach on Sunday and see what we captured. Hopefully we captured something. But anyway, you guys stay safe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. The links are down below, and I'll see you back in just a bit.